some type of data. So you are going to open the file we created in our exercise file in the last section. And there is two sheets here. So we want to get rid of one sheet and name the other sheet. So we right click for the menu to pop up and we delete the sheet and we double click the the sheet we want to rename at the sheet tab and we rename it as um data type good data type okay so <coughs> today's lesson you will realize that every cell have a single data every cell have a single data I still have a single data. So let me write something here. The girl, boy. Let me write figures two. Let me write a decimal figure two point two. Let me write um, two hundred. Okay. Let me write dates. Okay. Good. So then you realize that Excel has identify each data separately each data in a cell separately okay i want to zoom out i want to zoom in so that you you can see it well good now you can see it well good okay so now you can see it well then you realize that this um data particular information had been identified by excel as a test and this one has been identified by excel as numbers okay so let's see the data format we have when you come here there are some listed data format we have here and there are more that you can also do with a particular data and how you would want it to be so this time around let's see the general the general means that um every every everything goes in okay general means everything goes in. it's not limited to numbers or percentage or decimals or accounting information that's what that's the general so when a cell is finding difficulty in identifying a cell and a particular data in that cell it puts it in general okay so we can specify it by placing test making it making a test okay when you drop down the menu at the number side you can press test and now we have identified the data as a test data okay good so right now we have numbers here also and now because excel and i said general goes with everything it goes with numbers it goes with um, test counting information decimals and fractions so this time around you realize that you have numbers here and excel will take it as general okay but it, we can specify it and say that okay no this one is not this is a general order but you want to specifically label it as test so the moment you select this data you realize that you select this uh, data in a cell you realize that um it's in general so we want to change the format type the data type to let's say a test to change the, this um the format type into numbers okay we want to change it to numbers and with the numbers when we click it okay automatically it gives us a uh, two decimal numbers or two decimal places so this time around the decimal place shows that it's figures okay and maybe we need a whole figure we don't need any decimal so this time around if you, we, we want to reduce the decimal or remove the decimal from it when we get to the drop down menu you see that there are some signs here I, uh, um, after the drop down menu there is a dollar sign there is a uh, percentage sign there's a comma sign then there's this fraction sign this two is a fraction sign this fraction sign this one means front which means the increase decimal so when you click it you realize that the decimal had increased okay by one zero 
when you press it again the decimal will also increase by another zero but if you want to decrease the font uh, the decimal if you want to decrease the decimal you click backwards which is the decrease decimal when you press it you realize that it will be it will decrease by zero to decrease by zero to decrease by zero. so you get your whole number okay so automatically we've realized that when we get to number and we are uh, changing the cell type to numbers it's going to automatically create two decimal places and we can choose to increase the decimal places or remove the decimal places so let's say we have two 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 okay and now we would want to um specifically instruct excel to name this cell okay this cells as you have to highlight it first name this cells as um a number okay although it knows that it's a number but it's a it's in general okay it's not specific so we want to name it as a um, number we go to the drop down menu at the number side and we we click on the number and you realize that the decimal places comes the two decimal places comes and i've showed you how to remove the decimal places by going to the decimal column and reducing it or increase it by um, going to the decimal column to increase it good so now we are done with the number and realize that there is currency also here so let's take this one maybe this one is currency okay let's take this one this one is a currency 2.2 .2. okay and uh, this one is a currency you would want to identify let excel be specific with the identification that although it's general but it's currency that we would want to talk about we click on the cell and we go to the drop down menu here and we click on currency and what makes it currency it makes it that the, the sign the currency sign comes before the, the the monetary value comes okay so it comes before the monetary value comes so now we've realized that we specifically told excel that this portion of data we've entered is um uh, as, a, as in currency so make it currency for us so let's assume that we have two 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 this portion should be currency it is maintaining its currency when i change the figure 3.8 and click somewhere else realize that it takes the currency column but this thing doesn't and this column here this cells here doesn't take any instruction because it sees it as general because if not instructed excel that is currency now let's tell excel that this one is currency okay and see how it's going to behave so now we've highlighted the ones that we want Excel to label as currency for us as a data type. We go to the drop down menu and we go to the currency. And yeah, we realize that the currency sign also comes in here. And um, you will see that all this one is labeled currencies. Okay. The, maybe you would want to change the currency, um, the, the type of currency you are using. This is dollar you can choose this the the pounds or you can choose the ghana cd or you can choose the cifa or you can choose the naira depending on which country you find yourself and how you want your excel to look like i'm a ghanaian so i'm going to choose ghana okay so when you right click it you realize that a, a, a menu comes up then you see a format cell you have three ways of getting to the, that format cells when you double click it the format cell appears here and also you can go to the number column the drop down currency and the letter part you realize that there is more number format you can double click it for it to open the format cells or you can also go to there is a sign here at the number side it says that the number format you can double click it for the format cell so there are three ways of getting to the format cell you can't lose 
you can't lose okay thank you okay so you realize that uh -huh, we are in a currency column because we've labeled this place as currency and you realize that there is a blue highlight on the currency good now we would want to change how the currency looks or the symbols or the currency symbol or even if we want to make it negative we can do that as well here and if you want to reduce the decimals also you can do that if you want to increase the decimal you can do that if you want to take away the decimals you can also do that we have the decimal places and it's in two so we want to maintain it that way you can just reduce it or remove it out and also the symbols is here so you drop click the symbol drop down and now a lot of symbols compounds Pasika. <laughs> there's a symbol like the, the, the india symbol you have the australian dollars and the canadian dollars and let's mention it's pounds telling and because i said i'm a Ghanaian, i'm going to use ghana gh okay so realize that when you type it j it goes to j column and you see ghana so when you press Ghana and you press OK, you realize that the cell data had changed into Ghana cities instead of Dallas. Good. So that's how we change um, the currency to suit our specification. So that's what we are learning today. And um, let's talk about the dates. Okay. When you go to the drop down menu, the account. Okay, there's accounting here also. Let's talk about the accounting here. Let me move it to this side. I'll teach you how to move it in our next two lessons so that you know how to um, navigate all your informations around okay so this one is highlighted and now we want to choose accounting we want to tell the excel that um this uh, cell format should be in accounting format so press the accounting and voila you realize that there's a difference between this and this the accounting also comes with currency but you see the currency is separated from uh, the currency sign is separated from the actual currency okay currency format so that's the difference between the accounting format and the currency format you realize that the currency format is having the currency closer to the figure but um the accounting format is having the currency and um, at different from the figure so that's the two different thing here and also the percentage we have short dates the date you can make it short you can make it long date so let's highlight this date and make it a long date good you realize that the date had been a long date but we have a lot of options to do to change the date into so we go to the format cell we right click for the menu to pop up we go to the format cell and you realize that it have selected dates the blue highlighted dates and the type is here you can do it this type the written type the column type the hyphen type and when you press ok it will change to the hyphen type maybe you want to change the type of dates you want there are a lot of variety of dates type here and you can choose from it and now see it have changed okay i'll show you how to do the, do the dragging the changing and this thing. okay so then basically this is how to instruct excel on the data type you are working on so that excel will limit it to the data type you want and you can also change the data type to suit how you want it like how i change ghana cities to suit my currency because i'm in ghana you can also choose to change the currency because you are in europe or australia you can also do the the same for the dates and with the dates you can change the date type you can make it a long one you can make it a short one and with this one you can change the number and i said when you press numbers you realize that um there will be a decimal figure attached to it and you can reduce the decimal figure by going here oh we've not talked about the column let's say we have two two hundred thousand or two hundred thousand or two million okay and now this time around we want to demarcate it we want to bring that the comma sign so that you know the, the the actual figure we are writing in so you can bring the comma sign by selecting the comma sign here 
when you press it you realize that it gives comma af after every zero starting from the the right hand side and now it gives you every number gives you a decimal number you can choose to ignore the decimal by going to the decimal places to decrease it so that you get your whole figure here we call this the formula bar the formula bar shows you the information you have in your cell okay now let's we have 2000 here okay and let's decrease the cell good when you decrease the cell you realize that there's hash 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 that hash 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 doesn't mean that your information has lost or your data has frozen or excel sheet is having errors no it means that the information is too large okay for you to see in the size of cell you are in now so if you want to see the whole figure you just go to auto adjust to adjust um, the row column so that you can see the whole figure in it okay when you double click it you realize that the whole figure appears but you can also see the figure in it by also going to the formula bar here and you see that there, there's there's 2000 in it but when you go to the figure you see ash 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 but if you want to solve this problem you just have to highlight it and double click for the whole figure to come out thank you figure to come out so um this is what we learned today data type don't forget to practice the more you practice the more you become familiar with it there are a lot of data types and options you can choose from do it and get back to me thank you our next lesson we are going to treat um, data formats or the formatting data okay.